Which Shrek character are you based on your zodiac sign? Shrek was the first animated film in over 50 years to be nominated for the most prestigious award at Con the Palma d'Or. It blew the lid off animated cinema when it came out in 2001 basically deconstructing the fairy tale rule book established by Disney and going down as one of the best and most enduring animated films of the 2000s. The movie follows the titular character, an ogre voiced by Mike Myers, while on an adventure with a princess and a talking donkey highlighting familiar fairy tale characters along the way. The franchise is 20 years old and it currently hosts a number of characters that have been co-opted from fairy tale classics and reframed perfectly to fit the wacky world of Shrek. The zodiac signs of the Shrek characters aren't so difficult to see as each character big or small across the four movies is so well defined. What is Shrek's zodiac sign? It's easy to consider when looking at his strong personality and the same is true for the rest of the inhabitants of his fairy tale world. The Shrek movies range from very good to very very bad. Which animated film is an all-star and which one is still holding out for a hero? Shrek is a typical Ares, he is frank about his opinions to the point of being blunt. Although bands of villagers keep trying to hunt him down Shrek makes it a point to express his need for privacy especially because he isn't hurting anyone by living alone in his swamp. Like many Ares folk Shrek is also passionate and can sometimes lose control of his emotions. In other words his destructive tendencies take over when he is angry. That passionate nature and blunt personality can often translate into impulsive behavior in those born under Ares. Shrek isn't as impulsive as most but he does display the Ares sense of loyalty. He demonstrates how much he cares for his friends when he decides to save Fiona from Lord Farquaad at great personal risk and when he repeatedly helped Donkey despite going on about how much Donkey annoys him. Those born under the sign of the bull are extremely hardworking taking leaps in order to accomplish their objectives. However they can also be single-minded and can only be swayed from their course with great effort. Some might call Taurus the most stubborn of zodiac signs. Princess Fiona embodies both of these Taurus characteristics. For instance in her search for true love's first kiss she fights her away across the forests of Duloc so that she can finally be freed from her curse by marrying Farquaad. However it takes a considerable amount of work on Shrek and Donkey's part to convince her that her true love lies elsewhere. Taurus also tends to be one of the most dependable of the zodiac signs. Because of their hardworking and steadfast nature they tend to like being prepared for any situation. Shrek fans can see that in Fiona when she isn't a typical princess on the run but is quickly able to defend herself in a fight. Donkey is a complex character much like Shrek's metaphorical onion. He is generally cheerful and optimistic which several characters love him for but others most of all Shrek find extremely irritating. Donkey is given to bouts of excitability and hilarious lines flitting all over the place when he is in a good mood but he can turn sullen and moody at the drop of a hat. This binary nature of his personality places him under the Gemini sign. Geminis have a reputation for being moody but they're often able to change how they behave quickly depending on the social situation. They adapt well and Donkey is able to do that. He tends to make friends pretty quickly despite other characters not liking him at first. Another Gemini trait expressed by Donkey is his undying devotion towards Shrek and Fiona which he proves on a number of occasions. Lord Farquaad is overall a terrible person sending other people off to die on quests while he basks in the resulting glory. He is undeniably the villain and because of that he represents a lot of the worst traits of his zodiac sign. Being a Cancer he easily develops bitterness towards those who slight him or his ego for instance when people refer to his height insultingly. Cancers tend to take insults to heart instead of allowing them to roll off their backs. Farquaad is fickle minded seeing as he only cares about things that affect him directly and he discards anyone or anything once he finds their utility has been diminished. He is also extremely possessive about his property. For example when Shrek tries to rescue Fiona Farquaad clearly implies that she belongs to him. Pinocchio the talking puppet who happens to be one of Shrek's closest friends is ready to help whenever required. In true Leo form he shows a surprising amount of intelligence and strategic planning when he rescues Shrek Donkey and Puss in Boots from prison. 
He is incredibly friendly almost never playing favorites with his friends. Pinocchio is incredibly courageous and resourceful as well. This is seen when Shrek tosses him around in the air and flings him towards the fairy godmother so he can grab her wand directly from her hands. His courage his planning and his tendency to make friends are all Leo traits. Usually zodiac enthusiasts are more likely to recognize Leo as the zodiac sign that loves the limelight but Pinocchio shows that there is more to the sign than the attention seeking that is often the stereotype of the sign. Shrek is filled to the brim with fairy tale references but the film is also abundant with details that many fans missed out on. Robin Hood is a charismatic character in the Shrek franchise and has a personality resembling that of the Leo sign showing both the sign's strengths and weaknesses during his time in the movies. Hood portrays a lot of Leo's strengths as he's strong brave and good at strategic planning much like Pinocchio even if his strategic planning mostly involves him waiting to ambush travelers in the woods with his merry men. He also portrays some of Leo's weaknesses as he's egotistical and arrogant. Despite being something of a vigilante Robin Hood also does have the stereotypical Leo trait of loving to be the center of attention. Leos are often strong leaders as well. For Hood those traits go hand in hand as he loves the attention of his followers and he has a loyal group that enjoys following his lead. People born under Virgo are highly perceptive being able to picture a problem from all possible angles. They like to be prepared even if their methods might be outside of the box for others. King Harold exhibits these features when he asks the fairy godmother to change him from a frog into a human thereby allowing him to marry Lillian. He is also naturally secretive a classic Virgo personality trait considering his true nature. However this is partly because he was ashamed of his origins and didn't want to bring humiliation to the royal family. That also falls right in line with being a Virgo as they don't like to feel like they are burdening others. Being a perfectionist Harold expects the same for his daughter which is why he reacts with anger when he finds out that she wants to marry an ogre. After Rumpelstiltskin dupes Shrek into entering an alternate reality in which he forsakes his life in far far away Shrek must join a band of ogre warriors led by Fiona to reclaim the land from Rumpel. Chief among the ogre resistance is Brogan a gruff tall ogre who is fiercely dedicated to his cause. Loyalty is at the core of Brogan's character indicating his status as a Virgo. A born leader willing to do anything to unseat Rumpelstiltskin he's the sort of hero Shrek struggled to become in the first movie. Brogan is someone who is always willing to help which speaks to the nurturing side of Virgos. Virgos are often seen as the mom friend of the Zodiac because they like to take care of people and that certainly applies to Brogan in Shrek forever after. Prince Charming is a boastful pretentious man whose mother's creepy devotion to his success has left him expecting the world to revolve around him. Like some Libras his selfishness is actually a mask hiding his innumerable insecurities. This is obvious from the way he acts around Fiona and the other princesses. Prince Charming rarely shows signs of intelligence given that his brain space is mostly taken up by fawning thoughts of himself but that doesn't mean Libras can't be smart. Prince Charming shows some creativity but he fails in the execution of his plans like when he tries to trick Fiona into thinking he is Shrek but he fails to emulate Shrek's body movements as he believes the appearance change is enough. Libras tend to work best in teams though bouncing ideas off others and perhaps Prince Charming's other Libra traits are more stunted because of his mother's influence. Fairy Godmother is a typical Scorpio. From her fierce drive towards her goals to her refusal to hold back in a fight she is a metaphorical explosion simply waiting to happen. Her zodiac sign grants her the strength required to concoct a plan elaborate enough to ensure her son is in the position to inherit the kingdom of far far away. Scorpios are often good at puzzles loving to see how pieces connect. She does that in her planning instead of in unraveling someone else's plan though. The fairy godmother masks herself with a veneer of refinement of style but she can bring her inner scorpion out utterly destroying those opposing her if necessary. Scorpios are secretive and great at hiding behind masks because they don't typically trust others easily. In the fairy godmother's case her mask is to hide her true intentions. Shrek revealed that Princess Fiona was cursed years before the events of the movie but who exactly cursed her wasn't explored in the movies. 
Rumpelstiltskin is the main antagonist who appears in Shrek forever after and tricks Shrek into giving away the day he was born thus undoing the events of the past three movies. This story plays on his fairy tale origins as a trickster who spins straw into gold. There have been many takes on the character in popular culture and not all of them are Scorpios but Shrek's version of the character falls most closely in line with a Scorpio. Rumpelstiltskin portrays all of Scorpio's bad traits with his aggressive possessive and manipulative nature. Scorpio doesn't necessarily epitomize evil but the sign's penchant for confrontation can make those born under it formidable antagonists in fiction. They like to keep their secrets and are never afraid of making their case in a fight just like Shrek's Rumpelstiltskin. Puss in Boots is a loyal friend to Shrek demonstrating his trustworthiness in several instances when his fighting skills save the day. As a Sagittarius Puss is determined to make friends with Donkey even though the latter despises him for stealing the spotlight. He is also very adventurous working as a hired assassin and traveling to places far and wide in the course of his missions. The closest fit for his zodiac sign in Shrek is Sagittarius because of that adventurous spirit. Sagittarius is often thought of as the sign with the biggest sense of wanderlust and Puss in Boots quite literally embodies that as he continues to travel. That wanderlust however can also manifest in other ways like a love of learning everything and never wanting to settle with one subject or in always searching for the perfect relationship. Queen Lillian is a supportive and optimistic queen and mother to Fiona who has a similar personality to the Sagittarius sign. Lillian supports her daughter when she reveals that she's married Shrek and has chosen to become an ogre. Her father is too concerned about appearances to respect his daughter's decisions but Lillian is a much sweeter sort. She's an honest and kind character who isn't afraid to stand up for herself or others when she needs to. Queen Lillian really represents the open mind of the Sagittarius compared to the wanderlust typically seen of the Sagittarius in fiction. The sign is also known for being able to 